All right, YouTubes, Mountain Man Magic, and we have our second draft that we're going to throw up on the YouTubes. And this pack is, I mean, it's pretty decent. Goblin Trash Master, I think, is actually better than people give it credit for. I don't think we're picking it here, but I think it's pretty decent. Nightmare's Thirst has proven to be pretty solid, especially if you're in the life gain deck and get more than just the minus one, minus one. Volley Veteran also I like a lot. But I think Shock is just... Honestly, Star Crown Stag's actually really good, too. But I think Shock is just the better grab right now. Star Crown Stag would be nice. Do I want the creature or do I want the spell? That's a good question. I don't know why I'm between these so much. I think Shock is the obvious choice, but Star Crown Stag's just been so good, I'm tempted to take it. Ooh. Now this is, there must have been some good stuff. Oh, I guess they just took the rare, whatever it was. But Regal Bloodlord has proven to be super good if you're in that life gain deck. Heroic Reinforcements is a game-winning card if you play it turn 4, turn 5. Electrify is super good here, too, as is Luminous Bonds. So I'm tempted to just take the card that's on color for what we currently have, which is a Shock. Heroic Reinforcements, I'd really like to try this deck out. But it's, it's just gutting to pass two really good cards that also match the color of the gold card we would take. So I think I'm just going to take Electrify. I'm not super stoked about it, but, you know, hopefully we can see some equally good cards in the coming packs, or we just so happen to get something really good wheel to us. Not holding my breath, but it's it's early. We'll see what happens. Who's drafting with us? Drekanov is slowing us up. And then we got Troy Minator. Yo-Yo Viola. Hey, that's us. Run MTG Free. Tron 27, Scotty Loot, Artex, Double Zero. Ooh, we could go for the Black Red Sacrifice deck. I do like this card. Brawl Bash Ogre works super well with Active Treason as well. Bogart Brood I like a lot too, but I think Ball Brash is just a pretty great grab for us. There's some good blue in here. Omen Speaker, Salvager Secrets, and Snapping Drake. But I think I'm happy to take the gold card here and see if we can maybe move into this black red sacrifice be frustrating type deck oh boy oh boy all right more solid blue nice white card what do you do discard a card draw a card sacrifice it deals for damage target creature that's a solid card for us why not a 2-2 two -two for 2 is not terrible that also lets us rummage I'll take it why are you so dismissive, bro? Dismissive Pyromancer. He could not be less interested in everything burning down around him. I guess he's the one doing it, so he has no one to blame but himself. Burn, burn, keep, burn. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> like this book, don't like that book. Some hid from the storm. I embraced it and learned its name. I don't know if a lightning bolt cares if you know its name as it shoots you in the face. Diagraph Ghoul's nice, but I think Skeleton Archer is more often than not better higher upside i think it's a pretty easy grab for us what else would i like i like the ghoul lightning mare is not terrible but it's probably one of the less impressive horses in my opinion so black red's looking like there's some potential there but we can't can't get too excited quite yet I feel like 90% of the decks I've played have been some form of black archer, skeleton archer with, ooh, ooh, we're seeing white is still fairly open though. This is such a late luminous bonds. What was I saying? I was saying like, I've seen so many zombie decks with whatever the guys that gives them all death touch. It's like three decks in a row. How do you all do that? I think luminous bonds is our hedge here. Because if white is really that open, ooh. And black's not looking open. We're not seeing much red. So take Luminous Bonds, see what happens. All right, Dragon Egg works for being in the Black Red Sacrifice deck. I'm fairly happy with, with this. Yeah, wait, if we... No. Sort by mana cost. And then I'll pull you guys out. Why does MTGO not let you drag more than one column away? Hey, nothing wrong with getting a second ogre. Nothing wrong at all. It would have been nice to have the dual land. But 
this is a pretty pretty high quality card for our deck right now assuming we make it work skeleton archer see and this guy wield and i don't i don't get it we could try like duress but i think i think this guy just has fairly decent upside if you end up against the blue white artifact deck this card just does so much work for us this could help us splash luminous bonds so maybe we just take that pyromancer ogre duress or a pointless you have no maximum hand size land 4-2 is not ecstatic super exciting but i'd rather have the two drop or the three drop we'll take the three drop lava axe sure goblin motivator you're not terrible smelt yeah you're a good sideboard card some matchups Okay. Ooh, another red rare. Sacrifice a creature. You may play... Eh, that's not... That's not exactly what we're looking for. All right, what else do we have? Gargoyle Sentinel. This is a pretty meh pack for us. It's pretty weak in general. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of exciting stuff. Let's put that... Where'd that land go? Oh, it's over here. Hello. Hello. Wow, yeah, I don't know what to take here. This is... Oh, wait, duh. We're in black, too. So we take Sky Match Blood Letter. I don't know what my what my deal is. What was I thinking? I like this card quite a bit. Wow. Uh, is green open? Active Treason is, like, the perfect card for us. These are three really nice playable green cards. So, wow. But Active Treason just works too well with what we already got going on. Gotta take it. Enigma Drake could work, but I think Spark Tongue is... Just where we want to be. And, wow, to see a Remorseful Cleric. I'm happy to see a shot get this far. Maybe we're going to get some decent red thrown our way. Fingers crossed. We'll take another shock. All right. So, so far we've got some decent creatures. we got some decent spells. Just kind of nodding my head here. We need more two drops. If we can get a couple of those goblin guys that... Our trash master turns into two twos. That'd be nice. Um, we could use even some skeletons too. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can fill out this two drop. Because this, I feel comfortable in our deck if we have decent two and three drops. Because I in this format, I haven't had much issue getting that five plus drop spot filled in. But getting that early game where you're not just getting blown out by an aggressive deck, especially when we're red and we're trying to be aggro, we need to have this filled out a bit better. Who's who's the slow poke? I guess no one really. It's it's going pretty quick. Run MTG free. What does that mean? Wow, what? What? Uh, I mean, I get that it's not a huge... Oh, my goodness. And to see another ogre and another act of treason. How do you do this to us? Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that is exciting. Actually, that red rare, now that I think about it, would have been nice because we could have paired it up with our act of treason to sacrifice stuff as well. But another ogre, another treason, even another luminous bonds, and then we see this epic-looking guy that we'd have to splash green for. I don't think we're going to do it. That's really sad to me. But do I want another Act of Treason? Or do I want Brawl Bash? I think I want Act of Treason. Because we've already got two of him. That's crazy. I don't... Oh my goodness, I don't get that. That's insane to me. A 3-2 Flasher. Again, none of these cards are very exciting. Throw you in the sideboard, you could make the cut. Enchantment guy, two-headed zombies, not bad. I like the menace. The two toughness is a little saddening, but there we go. Goblin instigator. Ooh, and an archer. <sighs> but we need we need the two-drop spot more. Right, like, look at that four-drop. That's way too much. Way too much. Hey, this guy wheeled. We'll take it. Don't mind if we do. Crash through is something. 
which is factually true. It's definitely not nothing. And someone already took the land out of this pack. They're like, I'm so disgusted with everything I see. I'm taking nothing else. Do we take the rest for the sideboard? I don't think we want another of the four twos. Yeah, fingers crossed we can just pull something that's a bit more useful. So we need to get five playables out of the third pack. I think that's usually doable. At least five playables, honestly. But I think by the last pack, people are... Eh, I don't know, because maybe you're getting more hate drafting in as well. Ugh, who knows? Someone, I bet, was stoked to see. Whoever's in green, maybe they're playing like green-black or green-red, and they already got the splashing capabilities for Mr. Dragon. Maybe we could have taken him. I don't know. I have seen, watching Kenji's drafts, he had one draft where someone played the dragon, attacked, and it almost lost them the game because it got rid of one of their permanents, didn't help them out, but then it drew their answer of removal, drew Kenji's answer, answer to removal to get rid of the 6-6, six, six, and then they were so behind on board, it was pretty, pretty rough. So I'm going to tell myself that if I would play that card, even if I got it out, it would do nothing but hurt our chances. We're like mono red, barely splashing black. That doesn't make me feel too good on the inside. Hey, another lava axe. I don't think our deck's bad. I just think we have not necessarily gotten what we were hoping we'd get. I'm not going to play a full... Maybe we do need the five drop a bit more. Infernal Scarring's is not that good. If it was like flash, you could flash it onto something. Cool. But I don't think in our deck it's going to work out. Wow, Demon of Catastrophes is not a terrible card for us right now. Kind of in black. I'm, a, I'm bummed it's mono or double black, but yeah, we'll take it. Kind of slam it in. There wasn't anything else good in that pack. Not for us at least. Hey, you, you guys right here, I'm counting on y'all to throw us some nice cards. Please, Yo-Yo, trust in you, Troy, and Drekanov. This is what I'd be saying if I was sitting at the table. I'd be like, guys, come on, guys, help me out. Help me out. What are we going to do? Volley Veteran. Look at all... Why? Why? I mean, it's fine. It's potentially a removal spell, but we're not getting... We our curve is so bad right now. Huh. Now, granted, we have a couple shocks that could help us not get completely annihilated. Ooh, apex of power, slam that in. No, thud is perfect for us. Act of treason, thud. Thanks for trying. Yeah, let's let's grab thud. I mean, I know apex of power is worth probably 30, 40 tickets, but when thud is there. Look at that artwork. Look at how look at how clueless this goblin is thinking all is well with the world and now this monster is about to fall on him. Just sad, you know. What is it? Give me a push. Give him a push, not give me a push. Jeez. Give him a push. Mogwin Goblin Delinquent. It's a nice title. Ooh, I'm not wow, look at that. Just mythics getting thrown our way like it's nothing. Macabre Waltz might be nice, but Sky March Bloodletter think works for us just better it's just better so this is our deck i would be a little upset that we don't have more two drops i would like to be able to get rid of what would i want to get rid of honestly maybe getting rid of the trash master we've got a fairly decent we got how many goblins one two i guess three he could be maybe like a sideboarded creature if we play some with a lot of artifacts. Whenever a non-token creature... Ooh, Strangling Spores, though. And Abnormal Endurance. This pack's got some playables for us. Open the Graves is not really what we're trying to do. Although, open the Graves and then we get rid of their creature. And then they just net us a token. That's not bad. But I think removal, again, is... Removal is king here. But Abnormal Endurance, we could use the trick... To make sure we get some value. Is that gonna work? Nah, we'll just we'll take strangling spores. Hey, we get one of these back. Hey, we get a waltz. Do we have any reason to keep or to play a two drop artifact? 
other than we need two drops and it would be one we could play. No, I think Waltz is just another act of treason. Look at this. Well, we it's not like we were in terrible colors. Maybe we just these packs were weak for us. This wasn't the best seat. A third act of treason I don't think is what we want. Vampire near neonate, I've seen do some work. Second archer. A pyromancer. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think we can take the other four drop. We just have too many four drops. So it's between Neonate and the Pyromancer. And I think the Neonate just works better with what our deck has going on, which is not much at the moment. But if we get it out early, it can help block and then just drain them here and there to make sure we don't get completely blown out. Do we have any reason to splash green? Nope. Fire Elemental... Infectious Horror isn't going to do much for us. It's a zombie, but we have no zombie synergies. Sovereign Bite is basically unplayable. So this is our deck. Interesting. Da, 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 da. I think we just take this guy in case we end up playing someone in that deck. You're not going to do much for us. Although you combo well with Macabre Waltz. You come down. If you were more than a 1-1, one, one, that'd be nice. I think we just take the trick. Sure. Cantrip. Mountain. All right. I think this is a 16 land deck. So that's maybe we just need to make one cut. And that one cut is, is it Volley Veteran or is it Two-Headed Zombie? I think we get rid of the Two-Headed Zombie. Add in some basic lands. And I think we're good. All right, here we are, game one, and we've got a pretty rough keep. I mean, we're trying to be aggressive, and we've got five lands. Ooh. I feel like we got a mulligan. That's better. No swamp, though. Oh, boy. Not exactly better. Would be if we drew a swamp, or if we can draw a swamp. Come on, swampy swamp. Please swamp. Oh my goodness, we did it. We're good at this game. We're good at this game. And we're going to win. Hopefully. Blue, green. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Come on. Upkeep, that's a pretty solid draw. We'll say go, and then we can block, and at the end of the turn, drain him for one. Surprisingly, I'm not going to attack with the O3. I know. It's crazy. <coughs> a 3-2. Target creature control can't be blocked by something like a vampire neonate. Okay. We did it. The two life swing. How do you like me now? Draw. Okay, we got our mana. No more mana. Throw this guy down. Just keep draining him. Call it a day. No, I'm not. I don't want to attack with my zero three. I know it might sound crazy to you. They attack with the 3-2. Do we trade? Nope. Not this turn. 1, 2, 3. Another one of these weird cards. Okay. So we've got the Sacrifice Outlet. Now we just need, like, the Act of Treason. I think we play our Ogre. 
it's a bit annoying that we can't really do much with it right now, but there's hope. There is hope. We can combat. Swing for two. Sago. Um, so next turn we can keep up Abnormal Endurance, which will be nice. Except for the fact that they just ruined our Brawl Bash Ogre. It's still a wall, which is something. Although we can Abnormal Endurance it and then get it back. That's kind of a nice little... That's nice. We're taking six, though, and that is not nice. <coughs> And combat. Okay. Of course, the land, exactly what we needed. This is just if it if it blocks, right? So if it did attack and we wanted to sacrifice something, cool. Play you. Say okay. Well, the bummer is when we give it plus two, plus zero, it doesn't actually get to do anything. I was hoping it could block and eat something, but nope. So actually what we probably do is keep up Abnormal Endurance for our Sky Marcher. They've got three cards in hand. So we could use the Sky Marcher, basically eat one of those things, drain them for one, and then we have... Hmm, or we do it with the Brawl, but then the Brawl doesn't kill any of their creatures. So yeah, I think... I think we just save it for the Sky Marcher and hope they don't have something annoying like a Disperse. Well, they're keeping mana up for Disperse. They're also getting manas. Drawn, not drawn, gaining life. <clears throat> okay. or less. Yep, don't have to worry about that here. Declare your attackers. Abnormal Endurance, which gives it four power. Look at that. And we eat you. Wasn't that fun. Shock is actually pretty good here. We could just shock this and swing for the fences. I think I want to do this. Sacrifice you. Exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Yes, we will play it this turn. We could deal three to them. Oh, but that sucks because we could have attacked with our ogre, eaten this thing. <laughs> yeah, we'll take you. Begin combat. Attack. Oh, it's nice. We can still sacrifice. What am I talking about? Yeah, that's not bad at all for us. No blocks. You don't want to trade your creatures for each other. Pay one, sacrifice you. And I guess if that's the case, I should have taken the game and gained myself two life. Yeah, we'll play you. Sure. Look at that. Value town, people. Value town. We're gonna play something big though. With all of this mana. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Give me the 10-10. That's the perfect card. Upkeep. Ooh, we got an ogre back. Be in combat. Could have given this haste, but I don't want to. 
And I don't want to because I want to see if they'll attack. Like, I would honestly take the 10, and then I could hit him for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Assuming they played nothing else and they somehow couldn't kill... Or we couldn't kill Highland Game. That's unfortunate. They've got enough up for Titanic Growth as well. But they're not attacking. Okay. Yeah. Act of Treason number two. Can we get it? Electrify. Four damage target creature. What do we discard? Uh, oh, it's at the beginning of their upkeep. Is it? Our, is it? Wait. Beginning of your upkeep. Yeah. Begin combat. Attack. Because we can also do six damage to Gigantosaur. So we could conceivably like double block, throw two spells at it, and <laughs> four for one ourselves. <clears throat> There's a winning line for you. If they attack, do we block with the motivator? Or the neonate? Or do we well I mean we're hoping they don't get anything, but do we discard any lands? They got two extra cards. And we lost our Spark Tongue. Bummer. Ooh, that's not good. I think we just have to shock it. Sorry, bro. You gain two life, but you also don't get Blanchard Armor. A 1 3. And he's got a huge 10-10, which is unfortunate that it's stopping us from... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. How am I this dumb? Oh, my goodness. We can electrify this thing. Swing in for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hit him for 7. I think we got to risk it for the biscuit here. So we get rid of that. Go to combat. Begin combat. Now this will be, if we pump it, it'll be five, six, seven. This will drop him to eight, and then next turn it's lethal. So yes, I think that's what we do. Hit OK. Yes, we will sacrifice our haster giver and say go. <clears throat> now, do not forget to use Vampire Neonate. Pray they don't get a flyer or some type of removal. How many cards do we just let them draw? One more. Okay. There's hope. Oh, we got it. We got there. Whoo. Whoo. Okay, anything that is worth putting in. I don't think, I mean, that, we had to mulligan and we came back from it, so that is promising. I mean, we got, we got pretty lucky with our Dark Dweller Oracle hitting two cards. Hitting that Act of Treason, getting us a pretty convenient life swing in our favor, and just getting us a body out there to deal with that monstrous 10-10. It's a bold move for them to be playing it, though. Oh, man. It's a tough keep because our curve is not so good and we're only playing 16 lands. They kept seven. We're on the draw. You know what? We'll keep it because we can, we can play a little riskier, a little looser because we did win the first game. I don't actually think that's a great argument. But we conveniently enough have a two drop that lets us use active treason really well. So if we can just, ooh, if we can get to four lands, I think we're going to be okay this game. That's an annoying card, but 
it, it is what it is. Come on. Okay, there's one. We're getting closer. And we have a three drop, which is nice. Curve into three. <clears throat> and to act, if we get active trees in their 10 10, talk about a fun turn. That did happen to us at the two at a giant pre release. That was a bit of a bummer. I will take two. Are they miss they miss a land drop? They did. They missed their land drop. Wow. Yeah, I think we play Sky March here because it is a flyer. Begin combat. We will attack you for two. Now I think we can really punish them. If we do get our fourth land, we could Oh, we're not gonna have enough mana to active trees and use that to play our demon. Okay. Is this a race? Are they trying to race? They missed a land drop. Are we gonna miss a land drop? Not blocking. If we hit this fourth land, I'll be pretty happy. And combat. Actually, if we hit the land, is it worth just sacrificing? Like, attack with the Blood March. Ooh, we missed land. Okay. So, new thought. Do we block and use Abnormal Endurance to drain them for one? No. We're going to keep pressure on the board, keep building out our board, and keep attacking. <clears throat> this is a bit of a nail biter, I'd say. They missed land again. Wow. So they've missed two land drop, three land drops. Come on, land. Nope, not what we wanted. But what we can do is attack with everything, use abnormal endurance. and still end up with lots of stuff on the board. I don't know how I feel about that. Probably not great. So I think I'm just going to attack. Man, we have literally everything our deck wants to do except for needing that that other land. And I guess that's greedy. That's just greedy of us to only be playing 16. But you would think you'd be able to get to that fourth land by turn, what is this? What turn are we at? By turn six. They got their third land. They're living the dream. <coughs> we will take two, go to 15. We're still winning the race. I feel confident about our position. What do you got three drop? They got a handful of gas, as do we. It's just who can get to it first. They're annoying, three, two, got it. Okay. Okay. Do I think they could beat this? A 6-6 six, six Trampler. <laughs> I actually want to say that we played Brawl Bash Ogre down because they did show that they had Dwindle. And we can play Brawl Bash and even if they dwindle it, we can still use it to sacrifice whatever they have out there to active treason. So I still think that's our best play. We will attack for two. They go to 11. And combat. Play ogre. We've got sacrifice outlets. I mean, that's pretty convenient. We also could treason, take their thing, and then sacrifice it to Dark Dweller. Oh, we're not, we won't have any mana to play anything. They missed another land drop. Sticking with three. Called it. Called the dwindle. <clears throat> we're kind of playing around it, though. 
do they want to attack? All right, yeah, we can keep we can keep doing this. That's fine with me. I don't want to trade a creature for their creature and gain them two life. That's pretty big. Oh, we don't we need another mountain though. All right, but I think we take the Highland game and just gain ourselves the two life. The three two is fine, but we can just shock it next turn. And it's really not doing much. So we're going to take you. Gain control of target creature. Fun times for all. Begin combat. And now actually we, yeah, I think we sacrifice it to... <clears throat> no, I think actually we want to do it to this to see if we can hit a land drop. Yeah. Begin combat. Okay. Attack. 3, 2, 4, 2. Do we swing it with the 4, 2? Nah. Because if they want to trade with it... Yeah. You know what? If they want to trade, I think I'm okay with that trade. Because then we have shock for whatever else they put up. Yeah, that's okay. Damage, go to damage, end combat, main, sacking that. I get to gain two life because I control it. Please give me a land. Nope, that's a bummer. Can't cast it, okay. <coughs> also, we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can shock them to death as well. That's always an option. They missed another land drop. Bro, this has been the game of no one gets to play spells, although our deck being aggro is pretty happy about this. My guess is they're just fuming, as I would probably be seeing that I probably drew one land over, what, six turns, six, seven draws. End combat. Main. Draw. We got Goblin Motivator. If they attack, I will block with this, and then I can keep up Abnormal Endurance, which is nice. I could also keep up Abnormal Endurance. Hmm. <laughs> do I do that? Maybe I just do that. All right, let's go to combat. Begin combat. Swing for two. They didn't use, maybe there's, you know, everything in their hands, four plus drop status. Return target card to their owner's hand. I respect that. End combat, main. Okay. So what I want to do, well, I think I just wait. I wait and see if they attack. If they don't attack, this isn't like only as a sorcery, right? No, okay. But if it's a land, I can play it, but this, yeah. Okay, let's just do this now. One, two. Targeting this. Sacrifice a creature. We sacrificed our creature. When it dies, comes back to the battlefield tapped. Land. Land? No. Can't cast you either. Okay. All right. I mean, our hand still has so much gas in it. All right, we win. Wow. I just feel bad. Sorry, dude. It's not going to let us talk to him. All right, well, hey, we won game one. I actually like our deck way more than I was thinking. We will see you all in game two. All right, what is up, YouTubes? Game two, we won the dice roll. So, yes, we will play first. And, ooh, this is, if we draw any land, I'm happy. That's an aggressive. We got two chances to draw land. And then we got some plays. I think we got a mulligan it, though. Because we don't know what we're up against. We don't know how greedy we can be. This is 
similar, but I probably should have kept. Oh, we got to put you on the bottom. Well, that's not ideal, friends, but it's not over till it's over. Hey, they're red as well. No land. Okay. Play you out. Come on land. The very least we can attack and have abnormal endurance up. Hooray. It's not exactly what we want to do. So they're the red green. Go big or go home. And we are we're still playing, okay. Yeah, I think it's better we just attack here. Or attack, jeez. Play our guy out. Don't worry about attacking. Hope and pray that we can get something fancy. A fourth land would be nice. Even a fifth land. What a concept. Don't play anything big. Just pass. Just draw nothing but lands for 12 straight turns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take two. We don't trust it. Although, if they have a two damage thing... My thought is they have either a combat trick like Sure Strike, or they're just trying to be cheeky and get two free damage in. Okay. Interesting. So they're already ramping into something, which is always reassuring. <laughs> we can see if they're maybe splashing something else here, too. What's it look like? They whiffed. They whiffed on... Finding a land, which might actually really help us if they just grabbed five spells and we. So they whiff on five spells and now maybe they just draw nothing but land. Alright, so let's attack first. They chump block. I see them chump blocking. They don't, they just take six. Oh, okay. And we'll play you. And we'll say go. So we've got our sack outlets. Now, fingers crossed, we can draw our act of treason. Something fancy. Although we don't really have anything worth act of treasoning right now. So I guess we're just hoping they don't like lightning strike our brawl bash ogre. What else could be bad here? If they attack, I do not block. Okay, so our, our opponent's making me nervous because I don't know, ooh, so we could throw in Brawl Bash and just see if they block and use a trick on it and then we have another one to back it up or we could just abnormal endurance it depending on what happens. Let's try this. Let's go to combat. We're going to attack with everything. So I'm kind of curious what they do here. They've got five cards in hand. Our best play right now is to... I mean, we have to stay aggressive because we're going to get outscaled if we um, if we just like wait to draw something better because they clearly needed lands. They've got gas in their hand. Okay, so now do we abnormal endurance here? I think so. Now, you know what, let's, we'll trade that off, play the next Brawl Bash, and now we've got two Brawl Bash Ogres out there. I think that's pretty good. They're down to nine. And now we get you. If we draw another land, I'm not completely gutted because they've got to start getting multiple things on the board. And now if, what'd they do? Ooh, they lightning strike. What'd they lightning strike? Our sack outlet? Okay. I'm not super upset with that. Because if they play something big, do they not have a play? Come on. That seems, I'm, how do you say, suspicious. Big in combat. Let's attack for six. Do we want to sacrifice one Brawl Bash to another? I'm going to go with no. 
Now, if they have more removal, we have abnormal endurance to keep us in the game. They're down to three. End combat main. Play you out. So we now have three lethal creatures on board. And we're hoping that they cannot... And the fact that two of them are menace, too, is super helpful. Wow, okay. Well, hey. Yeah, I think we just got lucky that they whiffed on that elvish whatever it is. I don't... Okay. There's an argument for not playing both of these and maybe doing something like a trumpet blast. But if they're going wide... We're playing another menace creature, putting a waltz in, or another abnormal endurance if they have removal like that. But right now, I think we didn't really get to see what their top end looks like, and we got we got pretty fortunate that we were able to keep applying pressure like that. They had five cards in hand at the end of that game, though. Five cards with five or six mana up. Maybe they just need a double green. Maybe that was their problem. If they need a double green, they couldn't get it. And if they had gotten it, then we would have been hurting. But Abnormal Endurance, I think, will be pretty strong against them. So maybe that's an argument to put it back in. Maybe, here, let's try this. Let's take out Volley Veteran and put in another Abnormal Endurance. I want to try that because if we have something out like our Brawl Bash Ogres and then they're like, oh, I'll throw my 5-5 five, five Vigilant Bailoth in front of it. I don't mind that trade at all because I'll pump it with Abnormal Endurance. Mine comes back. They've still got Menace to deal with. <laughs> this is a fun deck regardless, though. I'm definitely enjoying playing this one. Smellspeth79. Hey, look at this sweet hand. It is pretty sweet. I like all the cards in it, but you need those lands. Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate. They mulligan to five as well. And we want to, okay, well, if they mulled to five, I guess we can mull to five. They keep five. We will keep five and hope that there's a swamp or something. I mean, we just need... We need everything right now. <laughs> and we pass. We got shock, so at least we're not going to get completely blown out early, but we're not... We're supposed to be the people blowing them out early. All right, well, that's nice to see. One more and we can play a creature. How exciting. All right, they're not skipping a beat. They're ramping into their big stuff. But we've got Active Treason and Brawl Bash in our hand if we can just get that fourth land for Brawl Bash. Can we do it? Ooh, we can. Okay. Now, I'm sure some pros would say Active Treason their 1-1 and get First Blood just to assert your dominance, but... I'm going to see right through that and not do it. A 6-3 Trampler. See, now that is a good card. I'm not happy they have it out. I'm taking one, and then we take six next turn. So we're taking some damages, my friend. All right. I mean, this is this is our only play. We just have to hope they don't remove it. If they lightning strike it or whatever, we're we're hurting. But if they if they don't lightning strike it and we get to untap with active treason up, ooh, ooh boy. Because active treason, as nice as it would be to hit them for potentially nine damage next turn, we also can't let them keep their six three. Oh, they haven't missed a land drop. That's for sure. I got two cards in hand though. Please don't be three damage removal. Please don't be three damage removal. If you attack for six, I am going to take it. I do not want to take it. 
but I will take it. I bet that feels good. Please don't do it. Okay, that's not terrible. Upkeep, draw. Okay. So, first things first, we active trees in this. Attack, pumping, sacrificing it to Brawl Bash, making it a 5 5 menace. If they try and lightning strike in response, we still have abnormal endurance, which is really nice. Begin combat. I'm going to attack with it, but it's still going to get sacrificed. Yes. Okay. What would be really nice is if they like blocked and shocked. But they're not going to do that. Damage. End of combat. Okay. So if we drew another swamp, I wouldn't be too upset because then we could play Sky March and still have mana up for abnormal endurance, which we kind of need. Okay, we go down to nine. Hopefully they're just flooded. Nope, a 3-2 menace, that's not good. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I should not have hit F6 there. But we can still play everything in our hand. So we do this. Drain them for one. Begin combat. Attack for three. And now what we're going to do is block with Sky March, Abnormal Endurance it, and shock their 3-2 Menace. And then hopefully they just have a land in hand, and I feel like we win this race because we'll have two creatures on board. They'll only have a 1-1. One, one. Now if they play something really annoying here, like a 4-2, that's going to kill something. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I messed up. I really messed up. I really messed up. I should have shocked it in response so that it only dealt one damage. Or is that is it still going to work? I don't honestly know. Okay, please don't. Oh, thank God. Whew. Whew. Okay. I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. Attack, block. Please don't have a lightning strike as well. That would be fairly gutting. Oh man, stuff is just working out. Now it is unfortunate that they have a 4-2 because even if we want to be super aggro, Hmm. Now, do I try and win the race in the air? Do I offer the trade two for one? I feel like if they had a combat trick, they would have used it there. Four, five. Do we want to trade five damage for five damage as well? Okay, you know what? I think we're at the point where it's going to be top deck mode. And we, I mean, we do have the flyer. So I, I, I don't think it's worth trading right now. Because if they attack too, I'm happy to swing back. And I'm, I'm also happy to trade off the 2-2 for their 4-2. But they may have just drawn some big stuff. I'm pretty impressed with us mulling to 5 how well this all played.
All right, don't be huge. It looks big. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We need an act of treason. Act of treason, I think, can win it for us, but I'm not feeling confident. We could attack with Brawl Bash, make it into a 5-5 five, five Menace. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... So we have 9 damage on board. They can swing with a 6-3 Trampler, though, and that is no bueno. If we attack with Brawl Bash, though, and they double block, we take at least 6 on the Crackback. Plus, we're not threatening lethal. I think we have to attack one more turn. And they can't really hit us for lethal yet. So we're not... Wait, but this also says target creature can't block this turn. So that is unfortunate. They're down to six. What's nice is we could like chump block their four two, sacrifice it, see if we get something. See if we get a permanent that costs four mana. Like our second sky march wouldn't be terrible. Whew. I think they're trying to do the math right now. Like, if we attack with our 6-3, can we win this? Because we're getting them down to at least 4. We have to get 4 damage through. And we could do a 5-5 five, five menace and a 2-2, two, two, but that does not get enough damage through because they can still block our Brawl Bash. All right. We need... Come on, Act of Treason. Like, if we sacrifice creature at end of turn, we can only play permanence, right? No, you can play that card. But if that card is our act of treason, doing it on their turn is not going to help. I think they're kind of thinking the same line. Like, how many turns do we have? Do we have to go all out? If we go all out, do we lose? If they attack with two creatures and don't have another one to play, we win. If we draw a shock, what if we draw a shock? Does that help us? Because we can kill the volley veteran. We can make them have to trade both of their creatures. Because they'll be down to four. We'd knock them down to one. Okay, so, I mean, we've got, we've got cards that'll help us. We need to either draw an out of some sort that's damaged their creature, their board, act of treason. If we drew another Sky March Blood Letter, that I think would also do it, because then we have four damage in the air next turn, and I don't think we die, unless they got some real fancy stuff going on. I'm impressed they have two of these Siege Breakers, right? Yeah, we already got rid of one. And they drew their second. But why? No, okay, they got something. Don't like it. All right, they're making the 1-1 one, one unable to block. What's their plan here? What's the other thing they could have? They could have the thing that gives all attacking creatures plus two, plus zero. So it's a 6-3. They're offering the trade. You know what? If we do this and then we hit a creature we can play, that would be that could be game saving, game winning. If we don't sacrifice it, what does it do for us? I mean, or we just take six here and call it a day. If we take six though and they have lava axe, I don't know how no lava axe doesn't cost three, so Ooh, tough decisions. I think I'm just going to sacrifice this. No, no, because no, if we draw a creature, though, and this can give it haste. Oh, that's tough. Ooh. I can't, we can't trade the Brawl Bash for this. I mean, we could, but I don't think they would attack like this unless they knew, unless they had a trick of some sort. 
So I'm just going to take the six and then hope we draw either a creature that gets us where we need to be. What did they, what'd they draw? What did they top deck? Not a bad top deck. Come on. Oh my goodness. Did that just do it for us? I think that may have done it for us. Top deck of the year. Because we can sack, make them both 5-5s five plus the flying. That is lethal. Begin combat. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no. Oh my gosh, I just blew it. Oh, I just threw the game away. Well, there's me throwing the game away. Oh, I thought I could just do it. Why can't? No, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, I'm like, I'm in pain right now. I am in physical pain. MTGO, why do you do this to me? Why do I do this to myself? Like I can't, I have to just do this and sacrifice one of them. Because they're going to have to double block this still. I mean, I guess we don't technically lose yet, depending on what they draw. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Like, why can't I do this right now? Okay. Alright, well, I messed it up, so. Yes. And we sacrifice the 1-1. One, one. Say okay. So they have to double block. And they, yeah. They just tell this that can't block. We can only absorb two. Man. Now we do lose. They just swing with both. They tell us we can't block. Yep. Oh my gosh. See, like, that's... Uh, I mean, I got no one to blame but myself, so... I just thought, oh, I'll just do it when I'm declaring tag. No, psych, can't do that. can't see the chats. I don't know how to bring up my chat. Like, it'd be cool if he just forfeited because we lose from a misclick. I can't, why can't I see chat? Open chat. Can I look at how smart I am? Card view, not card view, no. Where is why is there no chat? What's what's the dealio people? What are we doing?
Oh, well. I would probably concede if I knew, like, I don't know. I'm just not someone that likes winning like that, but he can definitely do what he wants. Well. Okay. <sighs> I mean, this is a keepable hand. I don't feel great about it. And we might, this just might be our flooded game. All right, well, our opponent's not exactly adding to the board. That's not a bad draw. Da, 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 da. Just hoping that we can keep. All right, so we've got five mana. Man, they've got this guy out every game, turn three. <clears throat> So we actually could play Skeleton Archer here just to kill that. And then if they have their 3 damage removal spell. But I think it would be better to have Brawl Bash out and ready to go. Because we got to start doing damages. Alright, all the men in the world... Probably a handful of gas. Let's see what they got going. Three, four, five. Hey, look, they got their card. That's right, we got somewhat of an answer for it this time. Not an answer, but I guess a, a way to overcome. So I think we just go to combat, attack. See if they block. Don't think they will. No, because if we attack, then then they can maybe use this to tell one of our creatures they can't block. And then we can't use Abnormal Endurance. And we're kind of hurting. But I think our only way to win is to win the race. No, we'll just stay back. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can get one get the siege breaker off the field. Whew. Man, that'll take the wind out of your sails miss clicking like that. Alright, they're just going straight to combat. Attacking with that six three. We will like, we could block with the Brawl Bash, but this actually gets us a little bit... Because we take four, but then we drain them for one. And we hope that they don't Lightning Strike this in response. Alright. Doesn't appear they're going to. So we take four, drain them, and now we're both at 18. I'm pretty happy with that. And then next turn we can either Shock or Skeleton Archer. Probably better to just Skeleton Archer. They're 1-1 one, one down. Two creatures? Playing two creatures? Yep, 3-2 three, Menace. Okay, well we can Skeleton Archer and Shock and be happy. So we got that. Do we get rid of the 3-2 Menace or the guy that will eventually turn into a 5-5 five, five Flyer? I think we get rid of the 5-5 five, five flyer. Kill that. Begin combat and swing for five. Uh, no, we do not want to use this because we're getting in for our damages. And now this could be rough because they were probably just trying to play their small guys out to cover the board up. Thankfully we had removal, but now they've got four more cards in hand, which could mean many more big bad things. Having another Abnormal Endurance action, I'm pretty happy about right now. Because li like Lightning Strike is definitely a big blowout for us, which is a bummer. Or gives us the potential to be blown out. But right now they've just got a lot of land... A lot of land, 
and hopefully nothing to do with it. All right, another three two menace, and another small guy. Okay, ooh, really muddy up that board. Not bad. Vampire Neonate is not bad here, but they're down to one card in hand. And I think I'm happy to race here. No. Okay, there's our attackers. Fingers crossed, they don't have a combat trick. We do this. Seems good. Because this is nice, we kill both and then we get to ping their goblin token. Damage. Sure. Okay. And I want to get rid of the token because then it helps with the menace more. Damage. And combat. And neonate may actually be a pretty big deal here. Because we're at 15. Draining for one is not too shabby. Now, if they just keep top decking really big, annoying stuff like that, then we're going to be hurting. But right now, it would appear that we. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you do? Okay. Well, what's nice about that is we get to kill this next turn. Oh, wait, we could give it haste, kill it now. Yes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Dismissive Pyromancer. We're not messing up this time. Get out of here. Get out of here. No more misclicks today, my friend. And we win because we use our ability. Oh, we did it. I am one thoroughly embarrassed that we misclicked so bad and two embarrassed that I can't count because it's only seven damage, not eight. <laughs> but either way, they're dead next turn to Neonate as well as the three creatures on board. So it would take a pretty big... I don't even know what they could play right now. But that was a really nice top deck. That worked out rather well. Yeah, they've got to kill three things. Looks like we still got it. Better to be lucky than good sometimes. GG's, man. All right. Sorry about that game two. That was quite the blunder, but we still pulled it out. We'll see y'all in game three. All right, what is up? We are here playing for the trophy. Yes, we'll play first. And this is a fairly decent hand. Like we've got we've got options. I, I think we keep it. I think we, we'd be a little risky here. They had to mulligan down to six, which is decent for us. Uh, sure, let's play out the motivator. We can give our dragon egg haste and just start doing work with it. They're red as well. Aggro decks do seem to be working out fairly well in this format. Please, a swamp. Ooh, that swamp would be quite nice. I believe. I believe they can pass priority. Are they saying something? Nope. Come on. Ooh, feeling good at games. But we don't really have anything to do with it, so we will just swing for one. And then hope we can draw our fourth mana. Because this is a pretty decent start. To have Dragon Egg out to make this a 5-5 the first turn we attack with it is really nice. 
And the fact that we have an act of treason ready to go as well. Ooh, but that blue, that blue though. And we, I mean, we can act of treason it, which is nice. Now we could shock it or act of treason it. And honestly, I don't, I don't know. I think I just want to get my egg out here first. And what's a bummer is if they're blue and they can just bounce the token we eventually get, that'll be unfortunate. But right now, at the very least, we're going to take two, but then we can either shock it or act of treason it. Either is actually a removal spell with it. Let's see what else they got going on. Blue-red is just such a fun... Generally speaking, I think blue-red's one of my more leaned into color pairs. Worked out really well for us in Dominaria. Now I'm just hoping it doesn't work out so well against us here. But this red-black deck is definitely giving me a much greater appreciation for... Oh, we did it. Um, a much greater appreciation for Menace. So now there's two arguments here. I play the Brawl Bash, we take a lot of damage. Or I just clear their board out. No, you know what? I think we Brawl Bash. I think we Brawl Bash because we can even just block with our Dragon Egg against the Ogre. And actually, we could give this haste and then swing for three. Why not? Let's do that. So we'll swing for three. I don't want to use its ability right now because I want it to be able to block that. And if they have bounce, well, then we end up just losing our... We end up just losing our token for two damage, which is no bueno. But yeah, with what we have in our hand, I feel pretty okay swinging for three and passing. Wait, man, we got lucky on those land draws, getting two swamps. Sometimes you gotta have a little luck on your side, no doubt. They're debating, wait, do we attack with the four, two? Yes, yes they do. We will go there. Get our 2-2 flying dragon token, and now they're going to do something annoying to it. Like shock it. And dwindle that. That is unfortunate. Okay. So I think we still hold the plan, which is to act of treason this. And get rid of it. Wait, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What's our best bet here? If we act of treason, we could just do it as a removal. Or we play our second Brawl Bash out. And our second Brawl Bash does what for us? Really, it's just going to kind of sit there and give them a good target. Oh, this is tough. Because we could active trees in shock, clear the board, say go. And then next turn we can brawl bash, give it haste, sack this, swing. I think I like that more. So I'm just going to active trees in this one. just because they have to sacrifice it. It's really all I got, and say go. They're probably wondering, why would they do that? Because I'm silly. Shock. We have a shock of our own, you see? Okay, 4-3 trample, not bad. Goblin Instigator is not bad either. It gives us some sack creatures. So we'll play out our second Brawl Bash. Give it haste. Sacrifice this. See, I'm, I'm tempted to not sacrifice, though, because if we draw our... Um, 
abnormal endurance, then I'm going to be pretty happy. But I'm also okay racing right now. Um, but, oh, begin combat. Before I begin combat. Ooh, we did it this time. Attack. Do we want to use the ability? I'm going to say no. Maybe that comes back to bite us. So there are two cards in hand going immediately to combat. We will just take the four. If we draw land, we can do two things, Goblin Instigator and Active Treason. Goblin Instigator is pretty OK here because, ooh, ooh. Now we can try and be real greedy. And we can volley veteran and get rid of their 4-2, or, which actually I think makes the most sense. Because then next turn we active trees and take the trampler, swing for 4, 8, yeah, a lot. So let's do that. I think that makes sense. Hopefully they don't have any fancy responses. No essence scatter. Brilliant. You take 2, right? Because you're not like, yeah, you're ogres. Give you haste and attack for seven. Is it worth going to nine, knocking them to four? I think we do. Because then next turn we act of treason, they're four three out. Yeah, okay. Knock them to four. That's a good card. But taking a four three trampler is. Perfect for us. We got one more card in hand, though. They don't attack, though. Upkeep. Does that do it for us? Did we get there? We got there. Okay, there's one. That's game one. Whew. Whew. Okay. Knowing that they have that annoying dwindle. I kind of want to take out Demon, because we don't normally have sack outlets for it. And I think I throw in the Abnormal Endurance again. Let's try this. All right, one game away from Immortality. Can we pull it off? Fingers crossed. I would, I would like to be on the play, but I don't think they're going to do that for us. So this, I think, is definitely a keepable hand on the draw. We've got the thud. We've got basically removal here with Goblin Instigator and our Volley Veteran. And we got a third land, so that is nice. We do need the fourth one, though. The fourth one will be pretty important. 2-1. That deals us two. Not ideal, but it happens. Okay, come on. Come on, deck. We can do this. We can do this. Dragon Egg, not a bad card for us. Not at all. There's our turn three play. So we've got two more turns to draw that fourth land. If we draw that fourth land, we'll be happy campers. Do they attack? They do. Do we block? We do. Do they shock it to keep it in play? They do not. Okay. Third land. 4-2. Got it. So what we could do is not play our egg and keep up abnormal endurance. 
But we got our fourth land. We play the egg out. It blocks, becomes a flyer, which is really annoying for them to deal with. Probably will get shocked, but hey, that's all right. Attack. We will block. That's what it's there for. Take some no damage. We get our flyer. They're not missing land drops. Okay. And a 4-3 trampler. Alrighty. Upkeep. Another land. All right, no more land. So what we could do is play Volley Veteran, shoot the Ogre. And I think, I just think that makes the most sense. Having the 4-3 trampler is a bummer, but I'm also okay trading off our 4-2 for their 4-3 trample. Shoot you. We get to attack in the air. Begin combat. And what's nice is we can pump this guy up too if they don't kill it right away. And deal more damages. Begin combat. Now here's the bummer though, is if we block and they have something that hurts us, well then we're hurting. But I think it's okay to block here. Yeah, we'll offer that trade. Because we don't have our sack outlets, we don't have our Brawl Bog Ogre. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. And now they've got five mana, three cards in hand, so something's coming. Trash Master. See, it's a good card. It's a fine card. I think Pyromancer's pretty solid here. It lets us keep up Abnormal Endurance... We can hit him for one extra damage in the air this turn. Yeah, begin combat. And he helps us rummage our lands, which is really nice. Pump it once, and we'll say go. I'm surprised our dragon tokens got to stay on the board this long. Pretty happy about it. Now, what would be the really greedy play? To block with this guy, Abnormal Endurance it, and then get an extra token. But they're not even going to attack. Play land, something big, something annoying. Something annoying. Something that we need to close the game out sooner rather than later. That kind of helps us get there. Equal to its power. So we can attack. Oh, I should not have done that. I should have kept a black up. But I was thinking about tapping out here. And just trying to do as much damage as I can. Begin combat. We'll attack. Now, if they shock it, I'll be sad, because I could have kept up mana for Abnormal Endurance. That's not the case. So what we can do next turn, four, pump this up twice, four, five, six, and then thud at them for four. That is the goal. That's okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Okay, I'm feeling, ooh, that's a good draw. I think we still abnormal endurance here. Or do no, we just hit him for five, I think. Hit him for five, because we've got Thud in our back pocket. Begin combat. Okay. All right. 
feeling good. They're drawing lots of cards, though. They drew one up. Oh, they okay, they drew one and one. That's not the best. It's not the worst either, though. They got four cards in hand, though, so even though they're five away from death, don't play another flyer. Just don't play another flyer, and we got it. Okay. Whew. Unless they return something to our hand, and then we're pretty sad face. Okay, what we can do is... Well, we just attack. Begin combat. It's a zero. Okay, so it's it's a wall. We attack with both. We see what they do. Because they can block one. We can abnormal endurance one. I'm more just curious if Abnormal Endurance works like this. So I want to see if we use it on a token, does it come back? And because it doesn't die... Well, it's not going to die, so I'm not going to get to learn it anyway. We could. I think we have Normal Endurance here anyway, because if they have a bounce spell and they try and bounce the damage, at least we get to get rid of their flyer. Okay damage yep and combat main thud for the win we sacrifice this would it come back oh okay it says when it dies return it to the battlefield does it come back tapped doesn't matter finally got a trophy we tried to throw it away in match two but super excited finally got that trophy thank you all for watching and if you're enjoying this content I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, if you liked it, you know, hit that likes button, leave a comment, you know, it really would mean a lot, but overall, just best of luck in your drafts. Thank you for watching. I'm Mountain Man Magic, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.